now I will talk about the Space Shuttle Challenger and I will start um, answering the first question which is what could NASA have, um, have done differently and after read an article and research a little bit more about it yes everyone agree like NASA uh, rushed this thing and they do this too quickly the reason because they do this is one of them they have another um, another launch for another spaceship in a couple of weeks later so they've been on top of the time and that's why one of the reasons they've been rushing for this second one president reagan at a time gave a speech um that was going to the state union address because this his speech was um um about the education and that one was the reason they've been sending a teacher to the space which was a civilian uh, with the other astronauts too so they have all the pressure on top of them time wise for an other launch a few weeks later and the president reagan's speech um getting pressure on them about education and everything was on top of the, on, on top of the time um the second question is what should Robert, roger boinsley have done differently or anything well he know about this problem he um Boisling and thompson tried to convince to the senior manager to state uh, to the arena to the original decision to do, do no launch because they knew that all two rings was not performing good uh, plus the other thing was the weather was not helping them because in the report say before they try a 53 Fahrenheit in January 24 um, and 1985 flight but the temperature was that day it was low to 26 Fahrenheit so they never been uh, research how those rings being at this temperature but at the same time they've been saying oh if nothing um nothing is saying is unsafe so but if we if we'll talk with the <clears throat> right person at a time or talk when i don't know maybe have um and a different person or he could do something different to try to stop that launch he could prevent but it didn't, it didn't happen um then what do you do as a student for future in your professional responsibilities that which is a third question um they being an engineer they've been knowing what is their job and they're knowing they have problems going on there and i mean step like stronger in what i feel when you know what you're doing when you know what is your feel you have a gut telling you something it's not going well something is done it's doing wrong and even you job depend on other people uh even maybe if you even lost your job but it's not just yourself and your job it's upon an other person's life but yeah that's why i think education is important because that's how you know what are you doing what things you're doing right uh, i believe on that and when you know what you're doing you know when it's something getting wrong